All right, Slackmaster fans, in honor of the late Rutger Hauer, we're going to watch Hobo with a Shotgun. Let's check it out. Rutger Hauer as our hobo, stumbling upon some guy feeling bum fights. Stumbles upon a guy needing help. A guy with a manhole cover on his head. These are the guy, the bad guys. That's unique. This guy in white is the major bad guy known as Drake. And that's a beheading. Our hobo is looking in a store and he wants to buy this old used lawnmower. Those bad guys like playing bumper cars too. Check out this guy's foot. Here we meet a prostitute named Abby. So he drags the guy into a police station unconscious. The cops are no help. They're on the take. They don't kill him, but they do carve into his chest. And they toss him into the garbage. Don't forget, you fucking piece of shit. I think they carved the word scum in his chest, so that hooker Abby helps him out. So he goes back to the bum fights guy to make a little cash. He's got to chew some glass. Well, he was in a store that was being robbed, and he grabbed a shotgun. Hence the title of our film. So now our hobo with a shotgun gets revenge on everybody, including the bum fights guy. It's a pimp, a late pimp, and he becomes pretty popular in the press. A pedophile in a Santa suit. Our bad guy takes a flamethrower to children on a bus. Drake wants to get the hobo. I want that hobo's head on my wall. And whoever brings it to me gets. So there's an immediate backlash against homeless people. And I guess everyone's looking for the, uh, confronts a crooked cop who was trying to get with Abby. Step away from the girl. I'm a cop. Don't do anything. He wants to open a mowing it. business with her. Get over to this town. We'll go somewhere where they have nice big lawns to mow. This isn't the only place grass grows. Are you serious? Before they can leave. <laughs> now this doesn't kill him, but it does fry him a little bit when he gets his skate stuck in a toaster. He was starting to saw Abby's head off. She's alive. <laughs> He gets Abby to the hospital, fix her up, and those bad guys come into the hospital and wreak havoc. And they kidnap the hobo. Drake has plans for him. Now Abby's going to go vigilante to uh, rescue our hobo. So what's and Drake's got uh, hobo well, in a manhole cover. Than the most powerful thing in the universe. Abby and a mower. What the? Let him go, Drake. Bro, 
Sorry, boy, but you just never had that much of a case. Abby gets an injury to her fingers. Eventually, Hobo gets the upper hand on Drake. You'll never beat the Drake. This time. You're ready, shotgun. Alright, let's talk about Rutger Hauer, who is a hobo with a shotgun. As we all know, Rutger Hauer passed away a few days ago. And um, I don't know if I've reviewed any. Actually, I, should, I was going to say, I haven't reviewed a Rutger Hauer film, but actually I did. A couple weeks ago, I reviewed Naked and Lustful. Go back and look for that one. He had a very small cameo in that. Um, but here we go. A hobo with a shotgun. Um, this was a movie, I believe, was featured on that uh, Death Proof Grindhouse uh, double feature uh, with Planet of Terror. And it was one of those fake... Um, trailers that they had on there for a movie Hobo with a Shotgun along with Machete Machete, um, which they made into a movie and now they made Hobo with a Shotgun into a movie as well this came out in 2011 um, um, I, I really really wanted to like this movie a lot because I was looking forward to it but you know while it was okay it just wasn't nearly as good as I was hoping it would be um, I guess the whole basically what we have here is if you ever seen like uh, Death Wish 5 for example The Crackdown I think that was Death Wish 5 um where Charles Bronson uh, was just cleaning up the streets. That's what you got here. You have a hobo. Um, this, he's living in this crime-infested area where it's just way out of control, crime-infested. It's so out of control that it's not believable. And that's my problem with the movie. Um, it's just not plausible that there, there's some horrible people that are having these demonstrations in the street where they chop off heads and stuff. This isn't the Middle East or something where stuff like that can actually happen. This is like... LA or something where it doesn't happen uh, in such a grandiose fashion so that was my only problem with the film um, but there's a lot of crime going on and, and um, uh, Rutger Hauer who plays Hobo the Hobo decides to clean house uh, with a shotgun and just starts shooting everybody he can there's this pedophile Santa who's jerking off in a car while he's watching kids shoots him there's a lot of freaking gore in this movie um, a lot of decapitations and heads coming off and blown up and just burned. It's just everything. It's just, it's a sloppy mess, this movie. Now, uh, the movie itself, it was decent. It just wasn't as good as I was hoping for. And again, it's that whole kind of almost apocalyptic a aspect to it that just isn't believable to me. Not that anything about this could possibly be believable, but whatever, right? So anyway, um, he cleans up house. He ends up uh, hooking up with this uh, uh, prostitute named Abby. She helps him out and stuff, and they form a vigilante team together. And at the end, um, our hobo does die after he kills the lead bad guy. His name was Drake. He shot his head off, and he got shot too. The, the whole police force is corrupt. It's just a big mess going on in this town. But anyway, uh, it's Hobo with a Shotgun. Now, I actually picked this up recently um, uh, at uh, the dollar store, Dollar Tree, whatever that's called, for a dollar. Can you believe that? And it's a double DVD. Or it's got two DVDs in there. Not a Blu-ray, but two DVDs. It's got a slip cover and everything. Um, you get a lot of shit on here for a, for, for a dollar. So I went well here. It's also got a digital copy. How about that? But anyway, I also like the fact that uh, the cover of the box, it looks like an old-time poster that you found online with the creases in it and everything. That's the kind of stuff when I make homemade box art that my wife uses. She has to get those creases out of there on her Adobe uh, program, which she hates doing, but she does it because she loves me. So anyway, Hobo with a Shotgun, Rutger Hauer. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments down below. Uh, were you not as liking it as much as I did? I don't know if that makes sense. Or did you like it as much as I hoped I would? Anyway, check it out. Leave some comments. We'll talk about it. Hobo with a Shotgun. Watch it. Bye.